I'm Mr. G, and we're here at Bergen Community College. This is our truck, the donor vehicle, uh, and basically uh, we're going to take an electric motor and put it here using the stock mounts. So it's all stock, we're not changing anything there. So we're not changing the truck, we're just changing the drivetrain, right? Uh, you know, it's got some rust and whatnot. Sure, it needs a paint job, but this is the secondary uh, part of the operation. The first thing is to get it to drive, right? So if you come to the back, let me show you. We've got um, plenty of room for batteries. We're going to do saddlebags, two batteries right here, and then the, the bed of the truck goes right back on. If they ever have a problem with the batteries, they can always take the bed off or they can drop it down. Something like that, we'll figure it out. Um, the other thing is, uh, to give you an example of the saddlebag, come on over here. This, uh, Oops. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> okay. Right here, this uh, this gas tank looks heavy, but it's not. And that's uh, one side of the truck has that. Uh, so that used to be on one side, right? So that's the saddlebag. So instead of gas, we're just going to put back a container that has uh, the batteries in it. We'll probably split them into two, right? And that's basically it. So today is, uh, what is it, September 9th, I think. And we're at Bergen Community College, it's 2017. We're working on this project for quite a while. We've got the drivetrain working in the inside the facilities in SA-119. But this is our outside facility. It has a roof, luckily, and that this way there's no snow and rain on the truck. I think that the brakes probably need to get done, but they probably work enough for a proof of concept. Um, you know, we're not selling it to the public, so this is really a science experiment. Uh, the all the electrics came from a kit, so they're they're but the but the students wired the whole thing, and we custom made all the mounts that are going in. You can't buy, so that's the stuff we're custom making. So it's like an engineering prototype, uh, uh, electrical wiring, and sustainability project. Uh, let's see, that's basically it. That's all I got to say for today uh, here, and then we're gonna go inside. I'm gonna show you what we have. And that'll be the fall 2017 Bergen Community College electric vehicle. And now everybody knows electric vehicles getting pretty hot. Tesla we know about, but even today, uh, just last week, Jaguar announced that the official Jaguar Classic restoration uh, uh, facility, they're doing electric conversions now for, for customers. Um, so this will be a thing. I think converting uh, uh, the gas cars to electric, that'll be like a normal thing on a regular basis. Uh, the piston engine, I love pistons. I love the piston engine, it's great, but that's an antique. It's just like a record player. Everyone's gonna keep the record player, but the eight tracks are gone. So anything in between, just maybe the muscle cars will stick around, but all the, all the workhorses and the, like this, uh, trucks, all the, all the uh, commuter cars, they're all gonna be electric. Right? Yeah, we're still gonna have muscle cars for fun, but it won't be, it'll just be like listening to a record player. It'll really sound good, it'll sound good, right? Like, right? But you're not gonna drive that thing on a regular basis. Um, there's less power. The electric motor has more torque available. The only problem that was holding this thing back in the first place was the batteries. They were too costly. But now that we have batteries on our phone and we have batteries for your house coming up with the Tesla Powerwall, you no longer have to worry about this. It's, it's, the cost is dropping. So we're in 2017. When we're in 2028, 20, 20, like 10 years from now, batteries will probably be half the cost. So in the next 10 years, you're gonna see a lot of electric vehicles on the road. And that's why this is part of the curriculum at a community college. It's appropriate to have a project like this because we're training the future engineers. All right, I'm Mr. G. That was your long explanation <laughs> of what's happening and I'll our next view is going to be in the shop and we're going to show you uh, what we have there. And then hopefully by the end of this semester, the goal is going to be uh, to have the electric into a box that's like a, like a plug and play unit. We just plug it in and it's good. Right now it's laid out on a table for a testing. That's got to get condensed and my students here are going to help me out do that. All right. Thanks a lot. See you later.